We grew up with the dream. A dream that we would someday make it to Las Grandes Ligas, the major leagues. There's me, Benji, then Jose, we call him Cheo, and the youngest, Yaria. Home, the base we protect, the field we play on, the place we love. This is our hometown, Espinosa Quilan in Dorado, about 30 minutes from San Juan. Our mothers still live here, and our father is remembered here. Baseball, family, community, they are all one in Puerto Rico. This is the story of my family, mi familia, the story of three brothers and the parents who raised them. ¿Cómo estamos? Bien. Bueno, ¿qué pasa, mi pana? ¿Está bien? Igualmente, igualmente. So, this is where we start. Here, every time we got a tournament here, we just got here early. We were the first one that can get in the park, and this is why we, we live just 20 feet, feet from the stadium. We finished school probably around 2.30. My dad finished work around 4. He probably get here around 4.30. So we would be in the stadium probably like, what, 3, 3.15 or something, and we're praying and waiting for him. This is my dad, ben, Benjamin Molina. That's always is me. I'm Cheo Jose, and this is Benji right here. Benji's the ugly one, and the most beautiful one. Hey, that's good because that doesn't look like me, though. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so the mayor of town, uh, made this when my, pass, my, my dad passed away and um, for honor of my dad and he, he did a good job. I mean, you, you see people coming from the other city, other countries, just to take a picture with this tattoos here. I think yesterday was a guy from Mexico coming over here and take a picture with it yesterday. And a lot of people by watching the Instagram and they're like, oh, when I go to Puerto Rico, I gotta go to their town. I yeah. gotta go check out, take a picture. And I get, I get a lot of direct messages with pictures like, yeah. hey, uh, look at where I am, you know, and things like that. So it means a lot. It looked like when I pray when, was when Jose and Benji pray, it looks completely different. Yeah, it was totally yeah, a transformation the, yeah, from here. Yeah, the back side used to be like all bunch of street on the back side with no fan. I mean, it looked different, but right now it's like, I feel like we did a pretty good job for the kids here. And I saw it yesterday for the first time, and I was like, like this to cry. I was like, wow, this is, this feels good. Came out really cool. He's proud. I mean, the, the done that we had uh, do for this hometown and for, for the people for Puerto Rico, he, he's proud. You gotta be proud because we take care of our people and, and, and that's what we do. I mean, we, we care about people and, and definitely it's gonna be proud of us. He loved the town. He loved this. He loved this place. place. This place. Like this right here. He loved it. I mean, he was proud. So by doing this, yeah. so I'm sure he's pretty happy out there. Yeah. This field. My father built it. Yadi ran these bases in diapers while our brother Cheo and I helped my father care for it. Our father lived on this field and he died here in 2008 at the age of 68. He stood in the dugout and clutched the fence in pain. Heart attack, they said. We will always remember our father, but here on this field, is where we remember him the most. 
you don't have to have a lot to make your your kids big leaguers if the how you do it my dad worked from five to three he had to work to get money home you know my my mom would just take care of us if you plan your your life and and, and everything and and it's all about your kids not you you're gonna have uh, kids that are gonna be professional whatever it is I remember not many uh, parents do what my dad did that is like after the practice my dad was driving the car around everywhere they live dropping their kids off we really wanted everything for our parents not even for us we want for them because they they sacrifice everything they have to to give us you know a life I remember in 2002 when they both won, uh, won the World Series in Anaheim, I was here with them. And then when they, they got the final out, it was like it, like amazing. We got people from everywhere, from Vega Alta, from Dorado, the Dorado the town. And then we went around the whole city, you know, like a big, and my mom was like, wow, look at this. And that's, that tells you how people think about us. How, how people think about them. They care about my mom. They care about us, but they want, they want them to feel good and they care about my dad and my mom. They love them. After he died, we came over like the next year and they were having a game, a little league game, but he rang and he was like this, you know, like little puddles. But then one of them said, ah, oh, the game is over. Oh, the, the, the men who fixed the field, he just died, you know, and the game is over. We're not gonna play. And that's what these kids were talking here. And I'm thinking, wow, that's my dad, because that's the only one that, you know, fixed the field and have him playing. So even that's the impact that it causing on the, on the kids. They like today, like raining days, and it was like ready to work the field, like to, to dry off, like to put the chat on the line. I mean, to do whatever, that whatever he can to play the to play the game, um, um, he cared. Like I said, he cared. He he didn't care for much, but he cared about baseball and he cared about this community. We feel him everywhere. I'm sure it's not like just here, but uh, you know, you're always in your mind and you always think about how things would have been. And coming here, obviously, it makes it special. You know, it makes it really special. Home is about people. We love the people of Puerto Rico, and we use our success to give back. Yaris' mission is to raise money for Puerto Ricans who need it the most. That would definitely be proud. Everyone knows Yadi is the fiercest competitor in baseball. Now the pitch. Molina swings and it's a high fly ball. The catch is made by Duvall. And the throw home. We're going to game five. Wong scores on the game winning sacrifice fly by Yadi and Molina. But here you see a different side of him. Yadi enjoying his favorite game with the people he loved most. This is the Fundacion Cuatro Home Run Derby. It's an event that is, is to get money for the kids. They need help, so Yari does these things to do that. So first of all, they have a Home Run Derby, Dominican against Puerto Rico, and then a game. Yadi and Molina is one of the best teams I ever have. And then all the time he need me, I gotta be here in support for the, especially the event he do it for the kids here in Puerto Rico. And the Yadi do it, it's unbelievable. And then 
I'm uh, so glad all those guys, young guys, they play right now in big league, coming in and support for Yari what he's doing. Yadi is an incredible person. What he does for, for us and the, the island of Puerto Rico is amazing. So we got to come out here and support um, his foundation. And um, we are extremely blessed to be out here. There weren't always bright lights and screaming fans. Our beginnings were hardly glamorous. We played baseball with sticks and paper bags from the grocery stores as gloves. But we didn't care, we just wanted to play. We lived in a few different places. This was my first house in Ponderosa. Looks a little different now. Bad flood when I was young. When I was around 11, we moved to Espinosa, just 20 or 30 feet from the ball field across the street. I would tell you the address, but we didn't have one. Mom still lives here on the same street. It will always be home for all of us. So we got, this is me right here, Seyanyo. When I was six years, six years old, he was my coach, my tío. And we won, nosotros ganamos ahí, campeonato. Ah, look at Benji, Benji was my coach too. This is Benji. This is my uncle right here. And this was Ivan de Jesus, Ivan de Jesus. He used to play in the buildings, now he's coaching. And his son is playing. Yeah. So this, this, this picture right here, so this is uh, Roberto Clemente, it means so much for us. Back then, it used to be like Roberto Clemente and Jesus on the side. I don't know where Jesus, uh, right there, that one, the top. So back in the day, you're gonna find Roberto Clemente and Jesus on the side, and that's what uh, Roberto Clemente means for us. Vente, Titi, si tú tienes el pelo ya arreglado. ¿Dónde está? Estaba She's getting ready to cook arroz con habichuela. Before today is over, this will be all full of uh, food and rice and beans. and. No, ¿sí? All right. So this is where it really happened. And the fried, of course, fried. I told you. Right here, this is my dad, right? Uh, this is me when Jose's wedding, in his wedding. And then Yari, my mom. That was my first look at Yari. He's like 10, 10 years old then, <laughs> when I first got married. This is the picture. I thought Yari winning the World Series with the, against Detroit. Jose, when he was in Peoria, chief. And this is mine with the Maya West Indians in winter ball. But this is him, and this time, this is when Yari got kicked out, too, for saying a bad word to the umpire. 
Today, I brought my mom a gift, a cross with a special photo that I made myself. Así se pone ahí. Ahí, mira, en el medio, ¿verdad? Como se pueda. Así. Y ahí la pone en la pared. Ahí. That was the first, uh, first time they saw me and Jose in a uh, major league game. 2001. 2001, porque... Sí. Ya había el... 2001. Estaba, 2001. Estaba recién filmado. Uh -huh. Nosotros teníamos 22, 20, 23, 20, tenía 21, algo así. 20 era. 21. Yo tenía ahí. Esto es en clase A, ¿verdad? No, esto es Grande okay. Liga. Este es Grande De Anaheim, ¿te acuerdas? Yo filmé a los 18. Home is with the people you love most. Mom and Dad taught us that. You may have noticed there's two things almost as big as baseball in Puerto Rico, food and music. Actually, three things, food, music, and my little brother, Yadi. Puerto Rico love Yadi. People ask us, how is this possible? How did three brothers all grow up to be major league catchers? How do you have two World Series ring apiece? Easy. It's because of my father, Benjamin Molina Santana, and my mother, Gladys Mata, and their parents and sisters, brothers, cousins, and friends. God blessed us. It's crazy. It really is. It really is. And now that I have more time to think about, I retired in 2010. I started in that field I show you in Dorado and in Ponderosa. To think that we have accomplished that, to be two rings, two rings, and two rings, that, that, that just, I mean, that's why we do what we do. That's why we want to help the kids. 
Because if we did it, right, from kids, we did it and we reached that goal, why not them? I'm, I'm seeing that I can't stop looking at the stadium because seeing the past stadium, you know, like the old stadium and seeing how, how new, how beautiful it is, is something that they got me, you know, because this is, this is us. I mean, that we, we like to give back. If we, I got, if we got opportunity to, to make it easy for them, I mean, we, we would do it 100%. Since the beginning, when, when I, I got here, when I was 12 years old, I'm, I was like, wow, this is cool to have a baseball stadium on, on, from, on front of your house. And every time, like Cheo said, every time you came from, from school and, and you see people here playing ball and, and you, you, you didn't want to, to eat, you just want to take the cross off and, and come over here and play ball. I don't know if I could just have a, a one word thing for it, you know. I, I would say, I would say heaven kind of match what we're doing, you know, what match what, what this is. Because it's a heaven for kids and, and heaven when we grew up at it, playing. And I don't know, I think it's a, it's a pretty cool place, especially after he fix them up and put them this way. So I think that a lot of kids are gonna have fun here for a lot of years. So it's probably just heaven, it's just heaven for us. Home has a lot of emotions, many good, some hard. At my father's funeral, we carried his casket around the bases, made sure he made it around to home. That's the thing about being a catcher. We guard home, we protect it, we embody it. All the things our mother and father taught us, they all lead back to home. <laughs>